In this video, I will show you another example of Thevenin equivalent circuit. Draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit across the load resistor RL from the following network. This is our load resistor RL. These are the steps I will follow to draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. At first, I will remove the load resistor RL. Let's say I separated the load resistor RL from the network and place that here. This is our load resistor RL which is equal to 24 ohm. We have to draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit with respect to this A and B terminal. After that we will calculate the Thevenin resistance across A B terminals. While calculating RTH, if there are any current sources in the circuit, we will replace them with open circuits and we will replace the voltage sources with short circuit. See, we have this voltage source, we will replace this with short circuit. This current source, we will replace that with open circuit. Therefore, our circuit will look like this. Now see, with respect to this A and B terminals, this 3 ohm and this 6 ohm will be connected in series and their co series combination will be in parallel with this 6 ohm. Therefore, our RTH will be equal to 6 ohm which will be in parallel with the series of 3 and 6 ohm. So I can write down 6 into 9 over 6 plus 9 which is equal to 3.6 ohm so in the circuit RTH is equal to 3.6 ohm after that we will calculate Thevenin voltage VTH calculate Thevenin voltage VTH across A B terminals you have to use your intuition. We can calculate VTH using mesh, super mesh, nodal, super node, superposition, KVL, KCL, VDR, CDR, whatever seems easier to apply in any particular circuit. Now we will calculate VTH with respect to this A and B terminals. Now if you look at the circuit, you can use mesh analysis. To calculate VTH, you cannot use nodal analysis because between this node to this node, we have this independent voltage source. You can use super node or you can use superposition theorem. In this video, I will show you how to calculate VTH in case of this circuit using mesh analysis and super node analysis and both of them will give the same result. So you can use either mesh or super node. Look at this circuit. Let's say this is our point C. This is D. So this will be D and this is C. So this C D C is our loop number one. And in this loop, I am assuming current in the clockwise direction, which is I1. This C D, this is our A point, this is B point. C, D, A, B, C. This is our mesh number 2. In this mesh, I will assume the mesh current in clockwise direction is I2. Now, let me indicate the polarities of the resistor inside the mesh 2. This will be positive, this will be negative, this will be positive, this will be negative, this will be positive, and this will be negative. Now, see this. I1 is the loop current that is flowing in the loop 1 and that is indicated by the current source of 2 ampere. The source current is flowing in anti-clockwise direction but we are assuming I1 is in clockwise direction. Therefore, in the circuit I1 will be equal to minus 2 ampere. After that, I will apply KPL in mesh 2. Now apply Kishop's voltage law in mesh 2. 
from C to D I will see this 3 ohm resistor as I will see the plus terminal first minus terminal later so its voltage will be minus 3 I2 minus I1 because this 3 ohm resistor is within mesh 2 and mesh 1 minus 2 minus 6 I2 minus 6 I2 equal to 0 therefore I will get minus 3 I2 plus 3 I1 minus 2 minus 12 I2 equal to 0 or minus 15 I2 is equal to 2 minus 3 I1 here I1 is equal to minus 2 so it will be minus 2 minus 3 get multiplied with minus 2 which will be equal to plus 8 So here we will get I2 is equal to minus 8 over 15 ampere. So the current that is flowing through this 6 ohm resistor is I2 and I2 is equal to minus 8 over 15. Therefore VTH will be equal to I2 get multiplied with this 6 ohm that will be equal to minus 8 over 15 get multiplied with 6 which will be equal to minus 3.2 volt therefore VTH will have a value of minus 3.2 volt that means the negative terminal will be in upward direction and positive terminal will be in downward direction. and VTH will have magnitude of 3.2 volt and this circuit will be our Thevenin equivalent circuit. Now I will show you how to calculate VTH using super node analysis method. So this was our circuit. VTH is the voltage across the 6 ohm resistor. This was our A terminal and this was our B terminal. Let's say this is our node 2. So it will have voltage of V2. This is our node 1. This node has a voltage of V1. And this is our ground terminal. So this will be our reference node. It will have a voltage of V0 which is equal to 0 volt. V2 is equal to Thevenin voltage. Now see as node 1 and node 2 they are non-reference nodes and within two non-reference nodes we have the independent voltage source of 2 volt therefore we will use super node method see positive terminal of 2 volt is connected here and negative terminal is connected here that means V1 minus V2 will be equal to 2 volt and this will be our equation number 1 after that I will replace this voltage source with a short circuit and I will apply KCL at the super node terminal. If I replace the voltage source with a short circuit our circuit will look like this and this will be our super node. Now I will apply KCL to super node. This 2 ampere is outgoing this is unknown current so this will be outgoing. See the same current will be flowing through this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm resistor that means this branch will have a resistance of 12 ohm so if I apply KCL at super node I will get 2 ampere outgoing plus V1 over 3 plus V2 over this branch has a resistance of 12 ohm this will be equal to 0 from which I will get if I take the LCM I will get 24 plus 4 V1 
plus v2 equal to 0 from which I will get 4v1 plus v2 which is equal to minus 24 let's say this is our equation number 2 if I solve this equation 1 and 2 I will get v1 equal to minus 4.4 volt and v2 is equal to minus 6.4 volt that means this v2 is equal to minus 6.4 volt and this v1 is equal to minus 4.4 volt now if you look the voltage between this terminal to this terminal is equal to minus 6.4 volt that means the voltage between this terminal to this terminal will be our vth will, will be equal to half of minus 6.4 that means minus 6.4 over 2 which is equal to minus 3.2 volt so this is what we can calculate using super node method and see those two results are same okay that's it thank you